Hi Leo, my name is Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your March reading. Now I think I missed out your um, second February reading and I do apologise but I'm going to just jump straight into March rather than just do a reading for these last few days. So I've pulled out your oracle cards already just to save some time but I'm going to pull your cards, give them a little bit of a shuffle. Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising. So, what does Leo need to know for their highest good? For their highest good, what do you need to know? Okay, so. Okay. Okay, so underneath the deck, we've got the Queen of Wands. So, to me, this is an energy of nurturing. It's an energy of finding that balance between that nurturing energy and that fire energy for you guys this month. Kind of learning to find your independence and find the wisdom within that, yeah? It's also about... Um, in terms of relationships, it can be about nurturing, growing relationships, mothering them almost, or feeling like there's a mother energy around it. Um, with the Queen, it's also an internal energy. It could be you questioning um, relationships, questioning um, your passions, questioning your independence, questioning um, relationships mainly, because your Oracle cards are... You have the Storm Morning card. Now this talks about, it talks about rocky times within a relationship or it can be about not necessarily external relationships, it could be internally in terms of that you feel like you are questioning a lot of your emotional stuff, questioning a lot of, going through a lot of changes, going through a lot of changes in terms of your relationships. Because the storm warning talks about um, holding ourselves within that storm, not allowing the fear to overcome us. It's realising that nothing lasts forever and this is just a passing storm. It could also be um, some arguments as well because with the Queen of Wands and the storm warning, it can talk about arguments. She has that fire energy and it could be when she's feeling like she's dominated in a situation, yeah? It's asking you to take time because next to this one we have 44, which is the thinker, and it's in reverse. So the storm warning also talks about endings. It could be endings in terms of relationships or it could be that you're, you're getting to a point where things are coming to a climax within, within the family, the home, relationships like that. But it's saying that at this present moment, because of this storm, you could be overthinking a situation and that is draining your power because it's 44. It's, it's also about the need to try and get two things to come together. I feel like you're trying to possibly, maybe you're the one that is controlling a situation or somebody else is trying to control a situation. Yeah, and you could be kind of standing up for yourselves, but it's asking you not to overthink this situation because once this storm dies down, everything is going to look completely different. It's saying that right now you might not be coming from a logical place. You're you're coming from a place of fear, possibly a place of not being able to possibly control the situations that are going on around you. Yeah. But this is all part of a bigger story for you guys because you do have healing family relationships, family issues, sorry. And it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So to me, this could be that you're starting to notice past things, past things where you're taking on the energy of uh, how your parents maybe dealt with a situation, or it could be that it's bringing up certain um, emotions within you that are storming within inside you, and that is called. If you search back that pearl, imagine you've got a pearl, 
or even a necklace like this and you search back each one of them beads you get to the point of reference where you realize that that is where it all started yeah that is where the healing needs to take place and it could just be that the storm is kicking up dust from the past as well which is stirring you emotionally right so the fourth oracle card before we get on to the rest of the reading is relationships and it says relationships are just mirror images of your own life how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth so that comes in really well with the queen of wands because there is that need to kind of nurture yourself and others but without being taken for granted but there's also this need to kind of use the energy to work alongside others and not feel like she's dominated by a situation it's about kind of feeling that independence possibly so we then move to the ten of pentacles and right next to it we have the ten of cups yeah now these are both tens, these are both completions of cycles, yeah, and they're also two of the, the best tens in the deck, yeah. This is about family, this is about issues regarding around the home, this very much links into this. It's about also emotions coming up, because this ten of cups represents um, emotional fulfilment, it represents happiness. Both of these cards are also about extending that out to others, extending it out. Um, there is also a rainbow here, and this is saying that this situation is guided right now, yeah? And it's saying that afterwards there will be this rainbow. We do have this prosperity. We do have this sense of abundance. We do have this sense of feeling like we're going to be... This is feeling like you're, you're nurtured, feeling like you're, um, you have this abundance of family at your disposal around you. But it could also just be that for some of you guys this month, you're working on these issues. Yeah, We do have the Knight of Wands next to that. Now, the Knight of Wands is not really a settling energy. This is somebody who wants their independence. This could be a relationship that comes in quickly as well. It's like you've just got, you're going through this sense of healing and then this relationship comes in very quickly. This energy comes in very fast. Or it could also be saying that once you've got over that process of healing, family stuff and that emotional stuff, that, that you're then ready to kind of face your fears. I'm also seeing the... Um, sphinx as well so that is relating to the past for me that is talking about ancestors and it could be that you're kind of trying to break away from certain past conditionings from certain family events from certain relationships as well yeah you could be assessing whether you're getting this stability and this emotional fulfillment from those relationships however just remember that the storm warning and the thinker card was asking you to take time because while things are up in the air with this energy it's hard to see um he knows that he has this goal, but he has no idea how he's getting there, yeah? So it's it, maybe you could be overthinking how you're going to get through a process or how you're going to get to some place, yeah? So then we move to the next row, and we have the Ace of Swords. Now, this is communication. It's standing up for your beliefs, yeah? It's possible as well that you're... You're needing to have, there's a need for this fairness and justice within your relationships here. Or it could be this new sense of balance coming once you decide where you're focusing your energy, yeah? Or this new sense of harmony with the Libra card. It could also be that you need to kind of put down the sword in a sense and say what you need to say. Send that message out there. But be careful that the sword doesn't cut because like I said with the Queen of Wands, her energy in the reverse can be fire. It's very dangerous. So maybe it's a need to kind of move away from those relationships and I've just seen the world underneath that and then it brings about a sense of completion or move away from a sense of needing to use 
both edges of the sword. Maybe just the communication edge is enough rather than feeling like you have to slay somebody. It's putting down the sword in this deck, but still communicating the message. So we then have next to that talking of communication, we have the spy card. This could also be about communication, feeling like you need to talk about a situation, feeling like you need to kind of bring people together in order to discuss a situation, feeling like you need to clear the air with some people. However, the page of swords can be a little bit of a run mouth. They can, they can say things without processing it at times. Their words can also be very sharp because they're coming from this place of defense. Um, so they can they can in doing that they they then when they answer it can be in attack mode so it's asking you to juggle that um attack mode this month to allow things to process let's say because this is feeling like you're caught up in a situation it's feeling like you have to keep juggling until this situation moves on however the two is also about asking you to find balance within that and the strength from that comes from um, being happy in the present moment. It's allowing yourself to focus on the present moment and not getting too distracted by what's coming, yeah? Not getting too overwhelmed as well, yeah? So then next to justice, we have the hanged man. And this is a period where we have to look at things from another perspective because at the moment you could be feeling like you're a little bit hung up about a situation yeah you could be feeling like you need someone to look after you like you need someone to nurture you like you feel like um you're having to make sacrifices as well for a cause um with the hanged man feeling like you're you're trying to stand up for your beliefs but in doing so you feeling like you're being sacrificed possibly um, it's also saying that once you look at things from another perspective, there is this sense of enlightenment, yeah? And next to that, to bring about this massive changes for you guys this month is the death card. This is saying that once this month has come to an end or wherever the time falls, because you could have been, you could be going through it right now still at the end of February, or you could be, um, um, just starting the process in March or you could be just ending it now in February and this could relate to you right now yeah but it's talking about massive changes coming in it's talking about a new day it's talking about um, anything that's being cleared away is necessary for you guys right now yeah don't try and control things allow the storm to pass yeah allow the storm to pass don't get caught up in the energy just allow yourself to go through this process of healing this is wishes coming true after this is after you've made that wish and then it's come true this is feeling like you're in a financially abundant place or in terms of energy one's the emotional energy and then in terms of your external energy how you show up in the world you are are feeling good this month it's just asking you to kind of stay balanced in the moment and don't allow the situations to carry you away because change is inevitable but it brings about this new birth this new day this new allow these changes to take place and in doing so you will find something brand new but you just have to allow yourself to go with it allow this completion to take place yeah allow allow um, yourself to be a little bit vulnerable as well with this card this is also victory this is saying that um, it's the end of a cycle it's the completion of a phase yeah it's the end of that storm so I really do hope this has helped take care if you'd like a personal reading from me all the information is in the box below take care stay blessed Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. I really do appreciate it.